I've kind of been struggling with being back in London. Salut, Salut. bonne bon journée. journée. Life is difficult right now and anything that brings me joy and chocolate brings me joy, okay? So here we are. Every night fucks every day up. Every day patches the night up. Oh god, you should match it as the kill. No one letters till I fuck my 28th up. 1990, you my family had that. Oh. Hi, greetings. Paris <laughs> at five o'clock in the morning I am so like surprised that I'm not tired but if you guys you guys should already know what I'm here for can you even see me okay so we're gonna get this this is the car fragrance that I was telling you guys about I just want to make sure that it doesn't come hi can I help you um no I kind of know what I want actually Thanks. Okay. this is the only fragrance the car that like, comes in yeah. right okay Okay, thanks. So if you need anything, you can ask me. Alright, thank you. I just want to make sure it doesn't come in any other fragrance. Oh, it does. Oh. So they only have bays here. Yeah, because apparently it's 85 pounds in London. And I think it's 46 euros here, which makes no sense. And then I also want to see if they have benzoin. I really don't need any more perfumes, but I think I'm gonna get this if it's as affordable as I think it is. And then I'm gonna see if I can get my sunglasses first. Can you guys even hear me? Okay, let's go. It's too early in the morning for this. Aloha sprinklerinos. <laughs> Where do I start? Where do I begin? First things first, greetings from London. I've been here for two weeks now. I actually have attempted to vlog while being here several times. I actually had about 40 minutes of footage. Like editing it was even depressing me. So I'm like, there's no way I can put this out. I have been on an 
emotional roller coaster. That is me. Emotional roller coaster since I've been here. And so many freaking downs. But that's essentially why I've been away. I've been away because I just needed to get my mind right. Oh my god. You guys know I've shared about challenges around work. I've shared about challenges in my personal life transition etc etc i know what's really really helped me through all of this and why i'm even able to pick myself up today therapy you guys know that i've been talking about one star therapy on this channel for a really long time i've always been an advocate for therapy but i think it's just something that i've always thought was like something i would get around to doing eventually or i just didn't feel like i was in the mental place where i could even sit down to unpack some of the things i was dealing with but let me tell you baby it has been so instrumental in helping me to take control of what's happening and just regain some sense of normalcy and happiness being in nigeria was the best distraction but i was not dealing with real life things i was just ignoring them and being back in London, it's like game time. You guys don't know about BetterHelp. BetterHelp is a platform which is helping to make therapy just more accessible, you know? It doesn't have to be in person. It can be over the phone. It can be through text messages. It can be online. It can be any way that you want. And the great thing about BetterHelp is that they will match you to a therapist based on your needs and your desires. And oftentimes they can even have you up and running as quickly as within 48 hours which honestly is incredible because if you've ever tried to find a therapist in the past, you know that that can be the hardest part, okay? And if for any reason the therapist that they have matched you to is not a good fit, then they will sort you out and get you matched up with someone else pronto. So guys, join me and 4 million other people who have decided to take charge of their mental health and their happiness through therapy and check out BetterHelp. You can go to www.betterhelp.com forward slash Ifeola or you can just select my channel name Ifeola and sign up for a special discount off of your first month. So I'm so excited. Make sure you check out all the details in my description box. Honestly, I still can't believe BetterHelp wanted to work with me. <laughs> Honestly, I am proclaiming and professing that you guys will have the best mental health possible in this season because I know so many of us are going through different transitions, different challenges. And you know, I saw a TikTok the other day that said the challenges of life never stop. Like one thing is solved, something else pops up. And the best thing you can do is find a way to enjoy your life, even in the midst of different challenges. And therapy has really, really helped to put things into perspective for me. So right now I'm getting ready to go out into Central. I have not been into Central since I've been here. So the plan for today is to actually go into Central London and to run a couple of errands. But I also booked an esthetician appointment at two o'clock. So I've messaged her to see if I can potentially move it because I would prefer to do all my errands and then go see her. Because if I'm going straight to her, there's no point in me putting on makeup. That's kind of like what my dilemma is. But if I am going into Central, then I'll put on a little bit of makeup and then she can just take it off at my appointment. I think I'm gonna do a little bit of makeup up and just hope that she can push me back later that's what i'm doing. sun is actually out today that's why i really want to move my appointment so i can actually be outside it's been raining every day since i got here which was also what was contributing to my emotional states for the first two weeks but anyway monica veneta replaced my bracelet remember i told you guys that it broke in Nigeria and now they do three sizes when I first got it they only did small to medium and medium to large and now they do small medium and large so I'm wearing a medium and this fits so much better and I'm just hoping it doesn't break because I love this bracelet this is their diamond tennis bracelet they gifted me if you guys missed that vlog go catch up on the Nigeria vlogs because the Nigeria vlogs were a movie you guys all seem to really like them I'm going to put on some other jewelry I just have like my regular rings that you guys have seen thousands times before I'm 
projects with them. Pick your pockets, and the cross don't miss them stockings. Nigga spilling, just popping. Get sold a yolo with it. Ain't no turkey on Thanksgiving. My homeboy just don't. I just hope the Lord forgive him. Pops with residue. Every day I'm hustling. What else is a thug to do when you eat cheese from the government? Gotta provide for my daughter and them. Get the f up out my way. Got that drum and I got them bands. Just like a parade. Drop that work up in the bushes. Hope them boys don't see my stash. If they do tell the truth, this the last time you might see my ass. From the gardens where the grass ain't cut them serpents lurking blood. Tell them Selling, but it's all good. Broken promises, still you're watching. Tell you what time it is. Take your chase and take you to kick it where the fuck it is. In the streets, <laughs> 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 So, you know when I say use ice at home, use ice, um, ice roll. Mm -hmm. It's sort of like this. It helps with inflammation in the skin. I've never used anything like this. Mm -hmm. but you told me to get one. Right? Yes, I did. Say what I did. <laughs> Hello, gosh, I have been out all day. Hi, good evening. So, where did I go today? I went to Zara. I could do a little bit of a Zara haul actually because I only picked up a couple of things. So, I went to Zara. Well, last thing I did was I went to see my esthetician. Her name is Precious Skin Orchid. Love her. We ended up doing an acne facial today. My skin has been breaking out quite a bit because life has been stressing me out. But honestly, I just... You guys already know how I feel about Precious. Like, when you go there, she doesn't just treat your skin. I feel like she pours into you. And I feel like someone has said this about someone recently. I think it was Aaliyah's face talking about her personal trainer. But Precious is that person as well. Like, she just... She's just amazing. My skin's been really stressed recently. I feel like the lighting is not good. So we ended up doing that today. Um, I only vlogged a little bit of it because it was just a facial. Cleansing, I did two masks, and then she went over my face with these ice roller things that she says that I should actually get some to help with inflammation, which she's actually told me before. <laughs> We're also doing a complete revamp of my skincare. So um, she's going to send me a list of a bunch of products to get that will no doubt be very expensive because Precious has very expensive taste. And then she gave me this face mask to do in a couple of days. And I also picked up another Aki Mist because I'm out of this. So that was Precious. Then I also went to Charlotte Tilbury. From Charlotte Tilbury, I picked up a finishing spray because I'm out. Holy grail. Honestly, I probably should have bought extras. But I feel like this is the kind of thing that you could get on offer if I checked online. So yeah, I got one of these. Then I went to Zara because I needed to get a few things. How cute are these earrings? I hope you guys can see. They're like massive flowers and they have these cool stems these are stunning they almost remind me of those um jacques mousse cherry earrings i wanted so i got those and then oh precious gave me this this is a spot treatment medicate rapid action target gel but yeah she's so sweet like she just gave this to me as i was leaving so yeah now i have some more skincare which is great um Yes, I went into Zara to get some flats. I don't have any flats, so I picked these up. You know how much crap I talked about these mesh sandals if you watched? I'm going to link the video. Like, I haven't done a signing video in such a long time. But when I saw these, I decided to try them on, and they were honestly really comfortable. And I feel like the weather, we're kind of coming out of boot season, so I didn't want to get boots. I actually went in to get loafers. But the only loafers they had to me just looked like, they looked like school shoes. So I went with these instead. These were $29.99. And I really liked the way they looked. They don't provide the most support, so they're not great for like walking. But I like them, so I got these. And then I also got these, because these remind me of the Prada sling backs. You guys remember something just dropped? These remind me of the Prada sling backs 
And I don't think I have a pair of nude heels. So I picked these up $35.99 and the flats were $29.99 and the earrings were $17.99. I'm trying to understand why my total was what it was because yeah, it was right. Crazy times. And then I ended up getting two perfumes because I also don't have any perfume with me. So this one is called Ballade de Figure. And I haven't even seen this collection. I think this is new. Um, honestly, look at this huge knife. I was only meant to get one perfume, but when I, when I saw this one, I just couldn't leave it. I don't have anything like this in my collection. And look at how stunning this bottle is. Like, hello. Apparently this is a part of the Joe Malone collection. $35.99. And this is, I guess, smells like figs. Oh, it just smells so good, honestly. Oh, like this is just, it smells so good. So I got this, and then you guys know I am a sucker for all things rose. <laughs> and Zara has an entire rose collection at the moment. And as soon as I smelled this, I was just like, okay, I'm in trouble because now I'm getting two. I was only meant to get one fragrance. <laughs> but yeah this for me just gives me more like daytime and it's so pretty it's called say la rose it's so pretty honestly it's just such a nice like happy fragrance so i'm really happy with everything i got actually zara was a hit i didn't go for clothes shopping i went more for you know shoe shopping fragrance shopping and then the earrings was just a plus so all in all a very successful shopping day. Today's the first day I ever went to Dishoom, which I know, shocking, because they're very popular. Um, I will say, as someone who has been to some really great Indian restaurants, I was a little underwhelmed. The service was great. The price point was great. I got to bring all the leftovers home, so also great. But I don't know. I was really expecting incredible food and i feel like the food was just okay oh i also didn't tell you guys i went to try on the bottega jody dupe from anthropology i really liked it actually i thought that it was a good size for me and i tried it on in black and the chocolate color which is most similar to the color of the bottega jody that i wanted i've been wanting to get the bottega jody small fondant for like a year <laughs> I exaggerate so much, maybe for like six months. I don't think I'm gonna buy it right now because it's just not good timing to make any big purchases. But I am thinking I'm going to get the dupe because I need a big shoulder bag. I actually would love to get it in this like pastel green color. I just think it's going to be really difficult to style. But that color gives me more spring than the chocolate brown. So I don't know, I'm going back and forth. I'm really trying to introduce more color into my wardrobe. And a part of me thinks or feels if I ever do potentially end up getting the Jody and the fondant color, what am I going to do with the dupe, right? But if I get it in like a really nice color that I would never buy a designer bag in, then at least I kind of will still have a purpose for it. I just want an everyday bag that I can put you guys in. So I'm going back and forth about what color to get. Why am I doing that? <laughs> I'm going back and forth about what color to get, to be very honest. <sighs> anyway, guys, I think I'm going to end today's vlog here. I'm going to go shower and get ready for bed. Yeah, I have a bunch of phone calls I need to return. I have a bunch of stuff I need to do. So I'm going to end this out here and we will see what we end up doing tomorrow. I have a bunch of Amazon packages that came in today, so I thought that I would do a quick little unboxing. I got two of these things. These are like to stick your phone. So like if you are the kind of person that I guess likes to put your phone in awkward places, with this thing you can kind of like stick it anywhere, you see? So that way you can record videos of yourself. I've seen lots of people talking about these sorts of things. so. I thought that I would try it out, but honestly, it's a bit of a mess because it sticks everywhere, even if like you don't want it to stick. 
I also got this phone case because my friend Kiki had it <laughs> in Lagos and as soon as I saw hers I was like yeah I ordered it I like I think it's really cool it makes your phone look bigger than it is which I don't know how I feel about but it was really cheap I'll have everything in this haul linked down below and then I also got some vitamins I had to be up on my vitamins this is the multivitamin you guys know I'm obsessed with these spray vitamins they are so easy to stay on top of so I take the B12 which is great for energy the vitamin D which for me I think is like good for your mood especially now that there's we're no longer in the African sun and then the multivitamin so these three are the three I usually take then I have one big box so I actually forgot to bring my eyelash spoolies so I got a bunch of these Honestly, being an eyelash girly is a little high maintenance. I'm not gonna lie, so I got a bunch of those. I also got some ink because I've had to order a printer, but that hasn't been delivered yet. So I got an ink and some paper for the printer. I thought this was going to be a full pack of paper. This is actually a rip off. But anyway, I got that. Hopefully the printer will come tonight. Then I got this. This is an insulated protein shaker bottle, which I thought was really, really cool. So you know normally you have those like plasticky shaker bottles that don't keep your drinks cold and also they're a little bit ugly looking. This one came up on Amazon and I thought that I would try it because first of all it looks cute and second of all apparently the shaker is integrated in the lid so there's no ball as such but it still mixes your drinks and then it keeps them cold so we're gonna see how we get on with this. It came in so many different colors, but I went for the mint green. I'm trying to like get away from everything in my life being gray and beige, and I just need to interject some color. They had a bright coral one that was kind of like this color, and then they had a black and a gray, but I went with this. I like this color. So we're gonna see. I'll try it out tomorrow when I go to the gym. And then speaking of the gym, I got some more Oxy Shred. This is a pink grapefruit flavor. Honestly, I just get whatever flavor is cheap or cheapest. <laughs> And then I got some more protein powder. I'm not gonna lie, ever since I've been back in London, I've kind of been struggling with being back in London. My mental health has kind of been really, really low. A couple of you have actually reached out to me on Instagram they're sending me words of encouragement and I'm so grateful for you guys. Even on my last vlog, so many of you guys sent me so many words of encouragement. It's been really difficult to pick the vlog up because I just haven't felt like talking to anybody. Talk less of like talking to you guys. I say all that to say a lot of you have said that like it's helpful when I kind of check in even though I can't really give a lot of context. But I think for me, it's just the weather has been really, really gray and rainy and miserable i mean it's london since i got here and also there's been a lot of like personal stuff that i can't really speak to that's been really really challenging however on a positive side because i am always trying to like think about the positive sides i was telling my friend today that i know i'm gonna get through this season and when i do get through this season i think that there will be so much growth that i would have experienced so much wisdom that I'll be able to share and I just know that this is the kind of thing that like transforms people even though it doesn't always seem like it I have faith that God has given me the victory and everything that's happening right now is just lining up for the next phase of life and what that's going to look like for me and I'm just trusting and believing I'm gonna close the window I'm just trusting and believing that when it's all said and done it'll be for my good. I just went to pick up some groceries. I'm going to make myself some chicken and potatoes this week. Last week I made a pasta. I think I showed it to you guys on the vlog. Um, this week I'm going to make chicken and potatoes. I need to like get back into the habit of eating. I haven't been eating properly as well. Like I've been... Guys, there's just too much happening. I've not been eating properly but I'm trying to get back into cooking and eating one of the things that my therapist said is like focus on the things that you enjoy eating and you enjoy doing and for me cooking has always been therapeutic it's always been relaxing for me let me just show you guys what i got because 
I went to a couple different places today. Um, I got this cereal. This is a very expensive cereal. I only buy it when it's on offer. So fun fact. It's like one of the more healthier ones. And for the most part, I've been surviving on cereal because I just haven't felt motivated to cook, but I'm trying to come out of that. I got some potatoes for the chicken and potatoes. So I'm gonna season this. If you guys have been here for a while, you already know like my chicken and potato recipe is kind of like a standard. I got eggs, 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 eggs. I've been having eggs as well as toast when i feel like cooking in the morning i bought this bread this protein bread and it's supposed to have 16 grams of protein for two slices of bread i really need to start going back into the gym that's one thing i think that would really help me my mental health i haven't been seriously back in the gym i think i've only been twice in in over a week I got this, they didn't have the Greek yogurt that I like. The Greek yogurt is thicker, that's the only, di only difference and I think it has more protein if I'm not mistaken. Yes, it does. But they didn't have that, so I got the plain one. I got some Nando's Perinase. This always reminds me of being in the UK. And I also got this lip balm, only because my lips have been so dry and all I have is my Dior lip oil and I'm not buying any more Dior lip oil. I've decided that it's a bit ridiculous to spend 30 pounds on lip balm. <laughs> like, this doesn't do anything. I also got this chocolate. I came up with chocolate last week and I really enjoyed it. I like Tony's chocolate because it's not too sweet. I feel like I've spoken to this to you guys about this before. Yeah, if you're a chocolate lover, try Tony's chocolate. It's really good. Um, I got some more oat milk. I got some granola i've never tried this granola before i don't know if it's any good we shall see i got this mediterranean vegetable mix i really used to like the one from waitrose so we're gonna try this one and see if it's any good and then i got some chicken thighs i'm gonna season these really quickly and hopefully i'll make that for dinner and i'm gonna have the rest of my pasta for lunch that's the plan i also got some uncle ben's rice i got a peri peri one and a savory chicken. You know what I've discovered? I really don't like boiling rice. Like I think I've known this for a really long time, but I really hate boiling rice. And I don't think I care enough about rice to buy a rice cooker. So this might be my vibe going forward. We're, we're, we're gonna see, <laughs> we're gonna see. I wish there was like a cooking equipment that could boil rice in addition to other things. Like can, can an instant pot cook rice? Cause if it can, then fine, but if not, I just don't care about rice enough to just have one thing dedicated to boiling rice. Nando's Perine sauce. They didn't have the hot one, but I got this just to season my chicken. I got some olive oil and then shouldn't have bought these, but last minute I picked these up by the till. <gasps> Ooh, this is going to be dangerous. I am just like... Life is difficult right now and anything that brings me joy and chocolate brings me joy, okay? So here we are. I just need to get back into the gym so that I don't get go. <laughs> and everything else is seasoning. So I got some garlic and then chili pepper flakes, curry powder, garlic pepper seasoning, cayenne pepper, garlic powder thyme oh i got some asparagus i thought i put this back i guess i did it and then i also got some himalayan salt so i spent about 17 pounds in the seasoning shop and on the oil and then i spent 40 pounds in co-op on everything else so what is that 57 pounds the UK is expensive. Can we talk about that? Oh my god. I keep checking my bank statement like every day and I'm like, where is all this money coming from? Like when I was in Nigeria, I was able to really like streamline expenses. Granted, like it's a whole nother country, but the UK, boy, you leave your house and spend 50 pounds just on transport and like getting yourself a coffee and a couple things and it's like <laughs> get an uber to and fro somewhere that's already 50 pounds like this country mm -hmm. anyway i'm gonna put all this away and i'm gonna season my chicken should i do you guys want to see me season my chicken i feel like we haven't seasoned chicken in a really long time so why don't we do that Ooh, i just remembered that since i have rice i might do chicken and rice and the asparagus today and maybe i'll do potatoes and this tomorrow does that make sense
because it's called pink grapefruit but it's actually really good i'm going to the gym today as you can see just doing like light cardio i think and light weights today i haven't really been in a real gym routine since i got here i think for the rest of this week i just want to make sure i'm like get it going in and even if i'm just doing like that 12 3 30 thing which is when you walk on a treadmill on speed three incline 12 for 30 minutes and just do like some abs i think that's going to be my plan for the rest of the week because i am I don't know if you guys can tell, but I feel so bloated. I ate all those cookies yesterday. Don't judge me. Um, <laughs> and I just feel like I've been doing quite well at like trying to make sure I leave the flat every day and get some fresh air, but it's just not the same, guys. It's just not the same. So I'm really trying to get into a good routine. I have like so much like life admin stuff to do. I don't even know if I've like talked to you guys about some of the goals I had this year. I'm really serious about getting a, a professional marketing qualification this year. That was something that I had put down on my list of things I wanted to accomplish this year. I've never formally studied marketing outside of my master's degree. I did a module in marketing and that was my first formal introduction to marketing. Loved it and have kind of like built a career as it were and lots of people will argue that you don't need a professional qualification however i do think that it will help to have a bit more credibility in what i'm doing so i'm going to be registering for cim i've already registered actually for my tuition classes for cim and i think my lessons start in april i'm really excited about that and then i'm also planning on registering for french classes if you guys have been here for a while you'll know that last year i wanted to learn spanish <laughs> i did duolingo for like maybe a couple weeks and i just went off that and then while i was in nigeria i reconnected with one of my friends who's been studying french and she just made so much sense like as a west african a lot of the countries that surround us are all french speaking so there's more of an incentive for me to learn french also when i'm in europe the country i go to the most is france so again another reason for me to learn french and also i just feel that like i already know way more french than i know spanish well, even though i studied french in the secondary school i still don't really know a lot of it but i know way more french than i know spanish so let's do a lesson together while i wait for this so i've been doing it, it and i want to do like formal french classes i'm doing all of these things online by the way so that no matter where i am in the world i'll still be able to participate it's like i've come to the realization that we have one more month of q1 i need to get a move on to one of my goals so let's do this together. A doma. A doma. I don't know what that means. I'm gonna guess see you tomorrow. Whoa. You see like the things that I, I I feel like I know, but like I'm not confident. Like that's more the situation. If I can't believe I got that right. A doma and see you tomorrow. I'm trying to practice speaking. A doma. I don't know. A doma Marie. A doma Marie. A doma Marie. Bonne nuit. Bonne nuit. Good night. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. Uh. I don't know what that is. Ah. Uh. Uh. I don't know. Uh. Uh. I don't know what that means. Bonne soirée. Bonne soirée is good evening. 
wrong. Bonne soirée is have a good evening. See, I didn't know that. So what is good evening? Bonne nuit? Bonne nuit is good night. See, I didn't know bonne soirée was have a good evening. Merci beaucoup. Thank you very much. Salut. Bonne journée. Salut is hi or hello. Bonne journée is have a good day, I think. Oh, I'm getting confused. Bonne journée is have a good day. Nice to meet you is enchanté. Yeah. Have a good day. Wrong. Salut is bye. Huh? So what's hi? Oh, I'm getting confused now. I got that wrong. Salut. À demain. Salut. Salut. À à demain. demain. I guess that means bye. See you tomorrow. Oh, I still have a seven day streak. I thought I broke it because yesterday it was saying. I knew I did. I did a lesson yesterday. I don't know why it was saying. Should I share my milestone? You know, it's so funny. I haven't been in a sharing mood. <laughs> I haven't felt like talking on stories. I haven't felt like just sharing at all. Salut. Salut. Bonne journée. Au revoir. Uh, I don't know. I thought see you soon was something we just said in the other one. <laughs> Or does that see you tomorrow? God, oh God help me. See you soon is a bientôt. A bientôt. A bientôt. A bientôt. Oh, bonsoir is good evening. Bonsoir is have a good evening. Salut. Bonne nuit. Salut. Salut. Bonne nuit. Oui. Hey, perfect lesson. I did that. <laughs> Honestly, I feel a lot more comfortable doing French. I really want to get to the level where I'm like conversational. I think I'll be happy with that. And like the next time I go to France, I want to be able to at least like greet in French, order in French, like just basic things. And this hasn't really kicked in yet, I'm not gonna lie. I love this bottle though. I'm just gonna put some regular water in it now. I'm not gonna take you. So I'll see you when I get back. <laughs>